こんにちは、ゆうか先生です。This is a sample lesson of my free course, mini course 3. Find more information in the description box below. I hope you enjoy the lesson. では、始めましょう。In the previous lesson, we learned how to say a sentence like I eat fish in Japanese. Do you remember how to say that? Right. You say, Watashi wa sakana o tabemasu. And we also talked about how flexible wording can be in Japanese sentences. As long as you combine a right word with right particle, you can switch this too. And say, Sakana o watashi wa tabemasu. This still means I eat fish. This is what we learned in the previous lesson. Okay, for today's lesson, I'm going to put this one back in the most common order, okay? Okay, today we are going to talk about a certain form of Japanese verbs. If you happen to have a Japanese dictionary on your phone, try to look up the word eat and see what you get. I'm pretty sure you get something like this. This is what I got on Google Translate. I typed eat in English and then gave me this for Japanese. Taberu. Taberu. How come it's not tabemasu? That's the topic of today's lesson. The word tabemas that I have introduced is the polite form of the verb. This is the form that Japanese grown ups mainly use to communicate with each other in the society when we are supposed to speak in the formal speech style. All the Japanese verbs in polite form have mas at the end. So we also call this form Mass form. So please remember that when I say mass form, it means verb polite form. Here is something that I want you to know. In Japanese, we have different speech styles. We have formal speech and informal speech. Japanese native children first learn the informal speech because this is the speech style that we use to somebody very close to us, like family members. And then, as they grow up, they gradually learn to use the formal speech in the society. Because of this reason, formal speech makes you sound mature, polite, educated, and respectful to others. On the other hand, Informal speech makes you sound young and cute, intimate and close to the person, but at the same time, when grown ups use it in inappropriate situations, it can make them sound uneducated and immature. And the mass form of the verb eat, which is tabemas, belongs to this group, the formal speech style. And the informal version of the same verb, Is called plain form. That's the one that you found in the dictionary. This one. Taberu. Japanese children first learn to use this one at home by talking to their family members. As a grown up, people that you can speak in plain form are limited to somebody very close to you. Since this is the form that you find in your Japanese dictionary, Some Japanese textbooks call this form dictionary form. So please remember that plain form and the dictionary form are the same thing. The plain form does not only indicate the speech style, the informal speech, but it's also used to create many other expressions in my language. That's why the dictionary lists this form and not the mass form of the verb. So, the plain form of the verb eat is taberu, and the mass form is tabemasu. Which one shall we use in this course? 
Let's learn to use mass form first since you are no longer a seven year old child, and ending your sentences in mass form keeps you sound mature and polite to talk to anyone. So for now, when you want to say I eat fish, you have to say Watashi wa sakana o tabemas. You are not supposed to say Watashi wa sakana o taberu. Okay? Unless you're talking to somebody very close to you in a very casual setting or young children. So, what you have to be careful with when you use a Japanese dictionary is not to use the verb that you see there as is in your sentences. You always have to convert those plain forms into the mass forms to use them in your speech and the writing. Okay, so here is mass form, tabemasu, and plain form, taberu, for the verb eat, right? Like this, every single Japanese verb has its plain form and a mass form. And for you to make proper sentences in Japanese, you must know how to convert these plain forms that you find in your dictionary into the mass forms. Unfortunately, I don't have time to cover that lesson in this mini course, but instead, I attach a list of Japanese verbs both in plain form and a mass form in this lesson. So please refer to the list as you proceed with more lessons in this mini course. So, this was a sample lesson of my mini course. You can download a chart of 134 Japanese verbs when you join the course. It is a free course, and the chart comes both in hiragana and romaji. I look forward to seeing you inside the mini course. では、また次のレッスンで会いましょう。